Hi there, so today we're gonna to be talking about adding and subtracting decimals. And hopefully this is a review for you. Um, so the first step when you're adding decimals is to line up the decimal. You have two numbers possibly that have decimals. You wanna make sure that decimal is lined up. And then you're gonna use um, zeros if you need to, to act as placeholders. So if there's like any extra spaces, then you'll use a zero. And then you'll add just like you would a whole number. And then the last step is to bring down the decimal point. So let's try that. So we've got the first one here is 9.8 and 2.12. So I'm gonna put the two under the nine so that the decimal will line up with the one and the 9.8. And then I'm gonna have a one and a two here. All right, and I need to add these, but here's a, an example of a place where I need a zero so that all these numbers are lined up with another number. And then I just add. So zero plus two is two, a plus one is nine, nine plus two is 11. My last step is to bring the decimal point down. It really helps to write neatly and make sure your numbers go underneath the number they're supposed to. And that way when you drop down your decimal, you're getting it in the right place. So this is 11.92. All right, let's try the next one. I have 11.013 and 232.6, so the 0.6 is gonna go here. That means the 232 is out here. All right, so when I line this one up, then I can see that I need some zeros right here to fill in these gaps. So three plus zero is three, one plus zero is one, zero plus six is six, two plus one is three, three plus one is four, and then I bring down the two. Drop down the decimal, and the number is 243, .613. All right, basically the rules for subtraction are the same. You wanna line up the decimal points. Use zeros as placeholders if you need to. Then you would subtract like you normally would with a whole number and, and just be careful if you have to borrow. And then the last step is to bring down the decimal point. So in the first example, I have eight minus 1.65. Now this one may be tricky for some of you because eight has no decimal. So um, it's hard to know how to line up the 1.65. We have to know where the decimal is in eight. And in this problem, if I put the eight, I have two choices. I can put it in front or the back. If I put it in front, then I've gone from eight holes to eight tenths. Is that the same number? No. So it can't go in front of the eight. It must have, um, it has to go behind the eight. Because putting it behind the eight, it's still eight point something. It's still eight holes. All right, so I haven't changed it when I put the decimal behind it. Then I can line up the 1.65. I'm subtracting, so I'm gonna need some zeros here in order to have something to subtract from. This is where I need to be careful borrowing. I have to go all the way to the eight. That makes this a seven, a nine, and a 10. All right, so 10 minus five is five, nine minus six is three, seven minus one is six, and I drop down my decimal. My answer is 6.35. And then if you're ever unsure about your answer, remember you can work backwards to see if you're correct. I could add 6.35 plus 1.65 and see if I end up with eight. All right, and the second problem, I have 12.4 and 5.23, again, I'm lining up my decimal points and subtracting. Here, I need a zero above the three so that I can subtract. And then again, I'm gonna be borrowing, so this becomes a three, and this is a one. 10 minus nine, or sorry, 10 minus three is seven. Three minus two is one. Again, I'm borrowing. 12 minus five is seven, and I'm gonna drop down my decimal. So 7.17. All right, so that's adding and subtracting decimals. You wanna start by lining up the decimals using zeros as placeholders, and at the end, just drop that decimal point down. And the really one thing that you have to remember with decimals, besides filling in the zeros, is that when you have a whole number, that decimal place needs to go behind the eight. So you don't wanna make it into a decimal. You don't wanna make it eight tenths, okay? You wanna keep the eight holes by putting it behind it. All right, have a good day.